let us visualize uh, the concept of degrees of freedom of a gas from the thermodynamics chapter. So first we have three kinds of gases. The first is a monoatomic one wherein if you, if, if you pick up any molecule it will just consist of one atom and the gas is, of, uh, gas is a combination of these atoms. Second case is a diatomic gas where if you pick up any molecule it will consist of two atoms. right? The third case is a polyatomic gas wherein if you pick up any molecule it will have more than two atoms. So let us visualize the degrees of freedom for each of these three cases. So take a monoatomic gas first, uh, if you pick up any molecule or, or basically just an atom because every molecule is just an atom in this case, this atom can move either in the x direction or in the y direction or in the z direction or anything in the middle between x, y, z which is a combination of x, y, z. So nothing other than x, y, z there is no fourth dimension which is possible. That is why the degrees of freedom for a monoatomic gas is 3 coming to a diatomic gas. So a diatomic gas is nothing but a molecule which consists of two atoms joined by an axis or something. So if you pick up if you pick up this diatomic gas similarly similar to this it can go either in the x direction or in the y direction or in the z direction or anywhere between these three axes which can be expressed as a combination of x, y, z. So as far as its translation is concerned, it has 3 degrees of freedom. But also you have to notice if, if I place it on the x axis, it can rotate about y axis, it can also rotate about z axis, but it cannot rotate about x axis. Why? Because its moment of inertia about x axis is it's 0 because it is present on the axis. That means it has 2 degrees of freedom associated with its rotation. That is why at moderate temperatures, 3 plus 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 is the degrees of are the degrees of freedom for a diatomic gas. Let us take the case of a polyatomic gas. So let us take 3 atoms if you uh, like a triangle. So this triangle or the combination of these 3 can either go in the x direction or in the y direction or in the z direction or anything in the middle which is a combination of x, y, z. So as far as, far as its translation is concerned. Uh, uh, it is, it is, uh, there is no fourth dimension possible. So there are three degrees of freedom. As far as its rotation is concerned, if you play, place two of these balls on the x-axis, it can rotate about y-axis, it can rotate about z-axis. It also has a significant, significant rotation about x-axis because that third ball has a moment of inertia about x-axis. So this time you have three degrees of freedom with respect to rotation and three with respect to translation. That is why at moderate temperatures a polyatomic gas has six degrees of freedom. That is how you analyze or visualize the degrees of freedom of a gas.